I thought it might be easier just to uh, video some of these things and I can put it up on YouTube for you and send you a link. Uh, that way I can kind of go over each one of these. Uh, this is a uh, ARS um, uh, AV. Okay, it's a little bit of a smaller one, but uh, it was nice to be able to have around there. I don't know that I've used this one more than twice here. So, And the bladders, of course, those go bad, but you can order those from ARS. Uh, I think that's a, I want to say that's a, is that like a 20 inch? Uh, there's an SAV 10319, I don't remember the size of that, but this one here is slightly larger. This is not an ARS model, but it's been a really good one. I've liked it very, very much. Um, has a separate drain here, of course, and it has this little other piece here that you can add on there, that little ball valve there, which is really nice to be able to kind of, uh, um, when I fill my AV, if you've ever overfilled it, it's nice to be able to just to let out a little bit. It's a little bit heavier because it's a little bit larger, but it's also nice and also in good shape. And I have two Hamilton Thorn Equitainers. These are the 48 hour ones, and they should have everything in them still including this, oh uh, yes, it looks like I'm missing one coolant can, but there is the, um, those coolant cans go bad. You can order new ones from Hamilton Thorn. Uh, I think I had one that went bad here. This is, of course, the isothermalizer cup, which is still good. Still got the lead liner, which always seemed to fall out, but uh, you can glue them back in. that guy in there and of course this one here still has both coolant cans and the original bags so in fact I don't I don't recall whether this one uh, <laughs> if I remember right I think someone sent it back without the coolant cans luckily they're not they're not expensive they just kind of gel and like I said you can if you've done any of this you can order those this is an MVE SC 2020 it is a uh, it is, of course, a liquid nitrogen tank, and this is an impression sealer here, um, which I saw when I pulled this out. Two little screws were missing here and here, but those are probably easy to get. And you have this other side that kind of holds that down, and when you use that for, you know, instead of a zip pack bag, um, those are really, really nice to have around. They're just a really, really nice unit to be able to do that. So, so and here's the tank. Still has all the, your canes and everything in there. And it's all in good shape so there's that and of course that comes with the rolling stand which luckily still rolls so all right those are those four and i'll get the other stuff and bring it down here to where i can actually film it so this is a uh, ars uh it's a model 534b it's a densimeter okay it's what they also call a blue box there at uh, colorado state university it's what i learned on and uh, what they had, I know now they have the other ones that are a little bit smaller, but uh, a lot more expensive. So this one still works, and it works great. Everything's clean inside. Um, what you do here is, is you have all your different programs that you can do. So you have uh, this setup button, and I have the book for that that I'll go with it. Um, and first, of course, you always have to zero it. Um, you uh, use one of these little cuvettes here. Of course, you'll see that they're clear on one side. And I'm not running it with any kind of cuvette in there right now, but it's just doing that. And it'll tell you, first, you normally, you, you put a cuvette in there. Press the door and it comes out. You can see the little laser in there. You fill this little guy up with, um, this little guy up here with water, but I won't. And you use the, of course, the clear side. You put that back in there. Push that guy back in. Okay. And uh, then you go ahead and you hit your go button there. And it'll kind of, you know, it'll tell you whatever your sperm count in there is. Which, I don't know what I should say, actually, because i got my fingers all over it. And that could, that's probably dirty. But, uh. It'll kind of tell you. It's really hard to see. There it is. Yeah, and so it says there's 40, probably because my fingers and there's probably dust in the cuvette, and I just rinsed that out with some water. So 
And then you can go and do the semen analysis, and it lets you set up whatever program you want. Uh, you know, you put your motility and all that kind of good stuff in there. So there's that. Comes with this lid here, so it covers the whole thing, which is really nice, and makes it just really, really tough. So it's great. You can take it with you and put it somewhere. And it's just it's hard to destroy these ones. I guess the new ones are a little bit more fragile. Um, so there's that. This is a uh, centrifuge from International Clinical Centrifuge. It came to me like this with all these marks on it, probably, where it was sitting next to stuff or someone spilled stuff on it. It works great. It's always worked great. It is a heavy unit. I mean, it's probably uh, 25, 30 pounds, that thing is. It doesn't like to move around. Um, and this works just great. Um, speeds up good. It's going to rattle a little bit because it's got no, of course, it has no weight in there. So. like for 50s, if I remember right. Fifties, that's what's making all the noise there. And uh, and of course your smaller one, so it holds for each of those. Um, I used that when I was freezing, worked really, really well, never had a problem with it. Just It's just one of those old solid pieces of equipment that just uh, works well. Um, it seems like everything now isn't made so well. Uh, and this should just last you forever. This is a, a Curtin Matheson water bath here, and I'm shooting all this stuff on my kitchen table. You probably notice because uh, I don't have a lab anymore, so I'm selling everything. So stainless steel inside. Here's your thermocoupler. Here's your little thermometer that goes with that. Um, really good unit. Very simple. Works easy. Okay. Um, temperature, you know, increases there. As you can see, it was sitting outside, so it was already warm. Right. So your thermocoupler works well. And that works really, really nicely. Never had any problem with that unit. Uh, like I said, I, I kept all these uh, in storage. I had everything all boxed up, so uh, it just started working. This little guy here should be warm. Mm -hmm. And it is. So, um, works, like I said, really nicely. Um, hasn't needed to be cleaned or anything like that. Haven't had any problems with this. So, uh, it's a pretty, pretty good shape. Pretty good shape unit. And, uh, Happy enough. That's for your uh, for your water bath. So, so this is a Carlson uh, trinocular uh, video microscope, and uh, it's trinocular because it has this one up here. This is the uh, video camera here. You can take off and clean back on there if you need to. This is this little camera up here. It just cooks right up to. Uh, so these cords here, the regular TV cord, okay, you can put in a little black and white monitor. Uh, I used that before because some of the stallions I was collecting, uh, insurance companies actually asked to see the motility. Um, they wanted to see a tape of it, so I was able to run it through that and then uh, had a little monitor with a VCR in it and was able to tape it. So, uh, But uh, this is a, you know, it's an okay microscope, nothing particularly special about it. To be honest, I uh, rarely actually look through the eyepieces. Um, I do have one of the Hamilton Thorns heated stage. Um, you know, that plugs in and slides right up, right up underneath there. Uh, so you can put your slides on there so it keeps your slides warm. And uh, this seems to work pretty well. So, and uh, I think this I'm going to ask uh, 400 bucks for. Um, the only thing that's wrong with it that I notice is the light is out. It looks like the light is out in this unit, which is just below the space here. You just pull it up and there's a light in there and you should probably get a light easy for that. Not a problem. Uh, real common microscope, uh, but uh, works very well and everything works on it and everything moves around on it and everything goes up and down and all that good stuff. So uh, never had any problems with it. Uh, that's that, and the, and the Hamilton Thorn stage. Never had a problem with that. Always seemed to work real well. These are solid state. They're kind of bulletproof. They have a magnetic base, so they kind of stick to wherever you're putting them. That's kind of nice. Um, 
and that I'm going to sell for $150. Usually those are $240, $250, if I remember right. Okay, this is a uh, scanner 480 made by Pi Medical. I bought this some years ago. Uh, always was a good unit, worked real well. I'm going to turn it on. Back here, if I can reach the button. Comes, of course, with the uh, probe here. Um, there's your probe there. There's a little piece of uh, foam that covers that, uh, usually for protection, but uh, that one was a little chewed up and dried out, so just got to put a pull noodle. Um, you can see that it's doing stuff there. Obviously, the probe works well. I don't have any gel, obviously, on my hand. Um, all the functions still work. Let me get that so I don't drop that probe. Okay. All the functions still work. You can still, you know, once you have your thing, you can set it, of course, and uh, um, and uh, you know measure measure all your stuff. If you have a uh, follicle, you know you can measure your follicle and all that kind of good stuff. So and the freeze works, and of course, obviously this works. The contrast and and uh, all the rest of the things work. Your, you can change out for your probe. You can change out for your depth. Okay, um, all that good stuff. Um, let me clear that off. You can go back and clear your system, do whatever you need to do. Um, good unit, not particularly heavy, comes with a carrying case and the probe and everything. The remote that you would wear is right here, okay? which of course also functions the same here. So here would be your, your freeze if I wanted to do that. Um, here's my changing of my depth if I need to do that, okay, and and whatever else so that my functions still still work. Okay, so there that is. Um, I'd like to see, see if I can get uh, at least fifteen hundred for this. Um, that's kind of I'm putting that as a price as uh, kind of going with everything else. So this is one of the last things. This is an Imperial Two incubator. I got this from a supply store. Everything's worked with it just great. Um, never had a problem with it. I just pulled it out of the storage, so I just kind of set it on the ground here outside my place. But, um, you know, I still have my old notes up there. Has this, uh, you know, darkening cover. I'm certain that this spring that used to hold this has long since died. Um, it's still there, but it's kind of dead. So I always used a little clip just to kind of hold it closed up here. Never had a problem. I have all my glassware and stuff still in here from the last time I used it. Uh, moving it, everything got kind of rattled around, but uh, I still have tubes and everything else, and you're welcome to use that. And the old bins um, has always worked well. Um, it's a big incubator. Uh, I always kind of like that, um, but uh, you know you can never have too big. So that one works nicely. Has the plexiglass cover that covers everything here. Uh, still got my old thermometers in there, and that's worked really well. Like I said, it's an older unit, um, but uh, once again one of those things that has just been always very solid and uh you know and, and very good so uh that's that one and uh i'll let you know how much that is okay last little guy is this uh is this collection bottle cover warmer which actually is kind of a big deal bigger deal than you would think uh, this works it's very simple it uh, just has a light bulb in there that's really all it is it's a light bulb and of course it comes with a collection cover which goes over it and warms that up and then these of course have little little keeper string here so that you can pull that and it stays on your uh, on your on your AV um, never thought that that was that big of a deal um, until I had one stallion a big dressage stallion that was really rather difficult to get good semen out of um, super light sensitive can't tell you why super temperature sensitive so finally got that little guy and did it and uh these things are not too expensive but they're still you know ar stuff is is is, is made real well uh, and works real well um so uh, to look and see what kind of price i want for that and i'll just give you a, uh, a whole price